how's it going? So yesterday I was talking to my friend Melissa and we got on the subject of spiritual gifts or as some people call psychic abilities and she said, well, what are your spiritual gifts? And I thought, you know, I don't really know <laughs> what my spiritual gifts are. Like I know that I have some things, but I've always wondered if I am like no different than the next person, if these can all be gifts that everyone can have, which I I think so. I think we all have some of it within us. We just gotta tap into it and grow that gift or that talent. I think with some of us, we are born with this gift and it's a very powerful and strong gift. And I think others can kind of develop the talents of it. So I don't know, like really, where I'm, where I'm at on the spiritual gifts spectrum. And you know what? I find spiritual gifts absolutely fascinating. I want to hear all about it. I want to know how you found out your spiritual gifts. I want to know how your spiritual gifts work for you. I think it's something that is completely just, it's this realm, this huge realm of possibilities and opportunities when you understand spiritual gifts. So I knew there was always like weird funky things that went on with me, but I figured we were all kind of weird and we're all kind of funky and we all have little like quirks and tics. So on a whim this morning, I looked up to see if there was like a psychic test because I mean there's there's tests and quizzes all over the internet in regards to everything, you know, so why not see if there is a psychic test? And there is, and I'm going to answer it because it's like a yes or no thing and you click on it and then it'll give you the results. I will link this down below it's just psychic-test.org so question number one is are you good at telling when people are lying i think so i think there are times when people will lie to me and i don't catch on to it but i know there's been times where i have caught on to people lying to me and it's it's rough because it's because it feels within like it's almost like the gears coming to a halt like within you so it's almost like someone someone like throws a pebble in the gears of your energy so you know we're like we're moving we're doing good and then someone lies to you and it's like eh! and you're like that does not feel right that doesn't feel right but you know it's up to them whether or not they want to honor you know their truth or whatever sometimes i will ask someone a question or they will tell me something and they don't give me the full truth and I will know that too, but just to respect the person because I don't want to be nosy. Granted, I want to know because I'm feeling something, but just to respect the person, I won't ask. That's okay. That's their choice. Like, you don't have to be fully open and honest with everyone you talk to just because they might feel that, that you're not being fully open with them. I mean... Do you ever feel drained or tired around certain people? Yes, 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 yes. I feel that most um, around those who are having a hard time. And it's not the fault of the person who's having a hard time. And I am completely certain there are times where I have come off uh, needy or in need and have drained others. I am certain I have come off and drained many people. And so I can't sit and fault the people that possibly drain me because I know I've done it too. There are those who um, there are those who I call energy vampires where they kind of just cling and they suck the energy out of you and then you're taking a nap for the rest of the day. Have you ever thought of someone and they gave you a call soon after? Yeah, or they'll text me soon after or something like that. Or, you know what, this is so funny. My girlfriend texted me on Tuesday and she said, hey, I've been thinking about you today. Well, on Sunday, I thought, oh, I need to text her. And then on Monday, because I forgot, and then on Monday, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I need to text her. And then I forgot. And so I thought it was funny that she messaged me and said, hey, I've been thinking about you. I thought that was kind of cool, actually, because I told her, I was like, oh, my gosh, I've been thinking about you, but I'm the loser friend because I would remember and then forget and I never would follow through with texting her because it had been... It had been, when was the last time we hung out? But anyway, so it was funny that right around the same time, we were like, oh, we need to reconnect. But she's also highly intuitive as well. So, you know, I can't say that was all on me. That probably was all her. Do you communicate well with animals and do they respond well to you? Um, to be honest, I don't really know. I, I love cats 
And so I, I think because I love cats, cats tend to kind of come around me a little more. I don't think that answers my question though, that, that I communicate well with animals. You know, I'm going to take that as a no. I'm going to make that a no. Are you drawn to the unexplained and paranormal? Yes. I'm so drawn to that kind of stuff. That stuff is pretty awesome. I love how like the moment I said that my like, my mirror fell. I have this little mirror attached to my mirror here in the bathroom because it has this little um, shelf on it that I put my phone on so I can listen to um, YouTube videos, watch YouTube videos, listen to music, all that kind of stuff. So it's funny that in the moment I said, yes, I believe in the paranormal, my, my, like there's two suction cups on the back of this little mirror and then like one just dropped and it started to... <laughs> Hmm, do 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 do. Yes, I'm drawn to the unexplained and the paranormal. I I believe in science. I believe there is cause and reason for science. I believe that we need facts to back up things that happen in our life and that are that just are in this world. But there is something so wonderful about the unexplained. And I I love hearing more about these things and more about the paranormal and stuff because even though science can't back it up it's still fun to think about and fun to think that maybe there is something there. I understand that science can't back up when I think of my friend and my friend texts me. I know there's like nothing like that can really prove that that actually happened but to like know within that it did I guess I kind of like that I kind of like having that knowing I don't know sometimes I like to think outside of the white and the black do you ever have a feeling that there is another presence helping you yes all the time all the time so not only do I feel like I have like God Christ my angels I believe we all like just going off in like my own little set of beliefs. I believe we all have kind of like a little group of angels that help us out. You can believe whomever they are or whatever they are. I believe too that someone's angels can help someone else. For instance, my angels could help my best friend or my best friend's angels could help me. And I think that when we love someone and we care about someone, I believe too that the angels interact and I believe there is a connection there and like we kind of become woven together in that regard. When meeting a new person for the first time, have you ever felt that you that you have met them before? Yes, I have. I think we can get that frequently. I think there are some people we just have like a core connection to that is unexplained. But I do believe that there are many people that we can feel a connection to. And I believe that they are part of like a soul family. I've read up on it. I've read a book about it. You know, again, science can't really back it up. These are all just kind of theories. There's a theory that we had a family up in heaven and um, before we came down to this earth and then you come down to the earth and then you meet certain people and you're like, oh, because your soul is saying, I know you, but, it's, but you here in this lower vibration are like, we connect really well. I really like you. I think you're cool. I don't really know why, but I just do. Um, I have experience for myself the, of meeting people and feeling like I have met them before. Definitely in in very big ways and in little ways too. Next question. Do you know that plants and animals have consciousness? Um, yes I've always kind of believed that I, I never thought otherwise and that could be Just because of how I was taught I was taught that every living breathing thing has a spirit and so I just took it as such. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I do. Actually, I didn't. I wanted to, like when I was younger, and then I stopped, and then I started believing again. And I think that goes back to the whole soul family thing, where you, where you meet someone, and you have like that instant connection. And I do believe there can be that instant love there as well. Have you ever had a premonition or dream that came true? Um, I think so. There are, okay, all right, there are times where I will make a prediction in my head and I won't say anything because it sounds ridiculous, right? Like I'll get this thought that goes, you know what, what if this and this happens? And then it does. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I swear, I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't say anything, so there's like no proof. A dream in it coming true though, I, 
don't know. And then there are like flashes of things that I will see that I'm like, when is that going to happen? Because that was kind of cool. Do synchronicities and uncanny coincidences play a role in your life? Yeah, like all the time. I do not believe in coincidences. I think of my friend and my friend messages me. I don't think at all that that is coincidental. I believe there's more to it. I believe that... Uh, I believe that I have a hair in my freaking eyeball. You know, I love the synchronicities and the coincidences. I, I don't know, like it gives me joy like when these little things happen have you ever had an ecstatic or out of body experience um i don't think so i have read in a few different places that when you dream your soul leaves your body so if that is true then yes because i've had dreams but knowing that i'm having an out of body experience no i haven't that i'm aware of. i would know i would remember and no i don't i don't recall i don't think i have oh my gosh just shut up and let's go on to the next question have you ever seen or experienced an aura uh i guess i will say yes like there's been times where i will like sit by someone and i can like feel whether they are feeling gloomy or whether they are completely in their head thinking. So yeah, I guess I think I'm answering that question correctly. Have you ever been alone and heard someone talking to you or call your name? Yes, I have. I swear I'm not crazy. If I wasn't completely sane like everywhere else in my life and I'm very happy and I'm doing really well and I'm not depressed, if you close your eyes, is it easy for you to imagine, visualize, or see images? Yes and no. I can close my eyes and I can like get a like a the gist of what I would like to see, but I have a harder time visualizing in like full color. Every now and then I'll have like these great vivid like moments where I close my eyes and I can see like a lot of color. So I, so I'll answer that as a yes. Have you ever been checking someone out of the opposite sex and they turned around knowing what you're doing and gave you a glare? Literally, no, because I don't stand around and like, like I've never really done that actually. There was one time, one gal, she was sitting behind me and all of a sudden my hair tie started getting weird, like started feeling weird. And she came to me a little while later and said, you know, I kept looking at your hair tie saying that it was off, like it wasn't centered. And you started fidgeting with it. Could you tell that I was doing that? And I said, no, I just, my hair tie just felt weird. So I don't know, maybe, should I answer that as a yes? I, okay, I'll answer it as a yes, even though the answer, the answer literally is a no, but I think the general meaning of the question is a yes. All right, let's see my results. Let's see what it is. I am, I am the psychic wizard. So there you go. Let's see. I have telepathic communication, clairvoyance, uh, spiritual awareness, precognitive ability. Sweet. How funny. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like a closet psychic because I don't, I don't have like a hundred percent confidence in the gifts that I have. And I believe they're all gifts. I believe they're all from God. I believe that they can be taken from me as quickly as they can be given to me. And I believe that we can expand on them with God by our side. I think if we are careful and if we do it the way God wants for us to do it, I think we can expand and grow in that regard. So I want, I want my friend Melissa to answer this for one and you can like send me the results if you want. But anyone who is interested in doing this, please do it. Like those who are subscribed to me and if you have a channel or a blog or if you just want to answer it, answer these questions in the comments, I would love to watch or read or listen. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.